Red Sun is an alternate universe where Superman, instead of landing in Smallville, actually lands in Soviet Russia. And it's the events of how he would have turned out had he been part of a communist country. The storyline is just one of the most intriguing ones. If he, you know, if he lands in Russia, is really what it's all about. And being able the ability to uh, add an additional 20 missions to our already robust scenario mode. I think it's going to give the players a lot of uh, enjoyment. I thought it was genius, actually, the whole idea of, you know, Superman landing in Soviet Russia and how that impacts the storyline. When we knew we were going to be able to do a lot of skins and DC kind of gave us the go-ahead, Red Sun would have been, you know, on the top of my list. So the Red Sun pack gets you three versions of our characters as if they were in this Red Sun universe. You get Superman, Wonder Woman, and Grundy. It also includes 20 Star Lab missions, which are these stories that take place throughout the Red Sun comic book arc. The Star Lab missions are pretty much the natural evolution of uh, how we've done our challenge missions in the previous games. What we're doing this time around is focusing a lot more on unique individual missions where they're a lot more elaborate. So you get to do a variety of different things, whether it's uh, play something like a 2D side-scroller for a mission or uh, break into a building for a mission. It's just gameplay mechanics that you don't traditionally see is just fighting back and forth. So my favorite thing about the Red Sun design on Superman is the way they took what is still a traditional costume and really gave it this militarized feel. So there's the obvious design element of the hammer and sickle replacing the S for his shield. We hold the S shield for Superman in very high esteem, and it's interesting to see you know, the hammer and sickle put into that S shield, and I think the graphic of that is really cool. But you also get to see these sort of dark colors and these, these tight stitching on his collar that really makes him look like this militant figure. We use more of an S-Shields type belt for Superman where I think in the comics it was a little more circular in design and Wonder Woman had a type of matching belt in the comics. I think the color scheme is awesome, right, because we have the black and the grays and then you have that stark red against that. Red Sun Grundy doesn't actually exist in the comic book. We really wanted to expand the universe of Red Sun, so we picked a character that we thought would fit really well in there, so we, we added Grundy, who's this big communist sort of comrade friend. Red Sun Grundy has a few things that are different and I thought were really cool to add in that gave that kind of Soviet flavor and stuff. You know, the fur hat that we all think of, he has lots of little medals on that are, you might not see in gameplay. Also, in his back, he has uh, the sickle reminiscent of the hammer and sickle, and those are one of the weapons that he has. He really fits in well with the universe, but it gives fans a chance to see something completely new that they didn't see in the comic book. Everyone around here sort of knows that Superman is my favorite character, so even though it, it deeply pains me to see that hammer and sickle on his chest, he's my favorite because he'll give me a chance to really beat the crap out of this Soviet Superman.